I think that pump house is pumping by the sound of it. We're at Leslie Dam. This is the dam wall. Those are the gates to the spillway, which are dry. There's nothing here to say what these concrete blocks are all about. It looks to me like they may perhaps have once been supports for a building. But with that tree in the middle, that doesn't add up, does it? The inauguration of concrete placing at Leslie Dam. Lots of politicians involved. 11th of May 1963. The installation of gates on Leslie Dam, 23 years after the dam was started, the gates were put on. To, to commemorate completion of construction of Leslie Dam, 1965. Okay, so they started in 63, finished in December 65, and they put the gates on in 1986, so I guess there was just a spillway until then. The thing about gates is that the, the water does not automatically spill over. It can be held in and released whenever. A bulkhead gate. Oh, look inside the damn wall. So here is where it would normally spill over. But by installing the gates, they've been able to increase the level of the water. Now we can't go from one side to the other via this damn wall. There's gates that are locked. But we walk up to the gates just for the exercise. You can't go any further, dog, sorry. Authorised personnel only. And you're not authorised personnel and neither am I. No, Hugo. No, Hugo. Goodness. That 
that's interesting. So that's Patrick Leslie. In 1840... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong song. In 1840, the Leslie brothers, led by Patrick Leslie, settled a large area of land around the Condamine River and its tributaries. This sculpture by Vernon Foss acknowledges the contribution of Patrick Leslie. It was done on and veiled this plaque on 9th of June 1996. Let's have a look at that person's plaque. Now this is Kate Leslie, Mrs. Catherine Kate Leslie. 1818 to 1894, daughter of Hannibal and Anna, Maria MacArthur and the wife of Patrick Leslie. The MacArthur family being famous pioneers of Australia and developing the Merino breed of sheep. Yeah, Elizabeth MacArthur was another famous one. The Kate Leslie Sculpture, officially opened in 2001, this one. Yeah, so about, um, what, five years after Patrick Leslie. The Kate Leslie sculpture evo evokes an awareness of the role of pioneer women, wives and mothers with the development of this region. Well, that's nice. That's good. Hello, Kate. I'm testing the dog's obedience. Come. Come on. Good boys. Okay, I'll pay that. This is the entrance to the upper gallery. Not for the public though. No, you can't get in. And the lower gallery, likewise. Bolted and padlocked. You'd think they'd learn, wouldn't you? Oh, I see, you're looking for the shade. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's over 30, isn't it? Installation of radial gates, 1980 to 1986. It took six years to install those gates. Full supply level above original stream bed. 29.9 meters. Each gate is 6.6 .6 meters high and 12.8 meters wide. Now, this one commemorates the actual dam, not the gates, and because it was in 1963 to 1965, it's in feet. Metrics were introduced into Australia, I think it was in 1966, the year after. So you can see where this outlet lets the water out, for whatever reason, through those outlets. How rusty the water is as it comes out. It's left the residue on top of the rocks. The Leslies, Mr. and Mrs.